Fake. When multiple storms are firing off in the Atlantic Ocean at once, well, News 19's Danielle Miller tells us more. Well, meteorologists begin tracking tropical disturbances well before they pose any threats to land. But some of the terminology behind these disturbances can get a little confusing, especially as the storms continue to evolve. So let's dive in and talk about what each of these terms actually means. First, let's start with the tropical disturbance. This is simply a discrete weather system with relatively organized shower and thunderstorm activity that originates in the tropics or subtropics. If a tropical forecast center like the National Hurricane Center is interested in gathering more information or data about a specific weather system, it will then be called an invest. But just because it's called an invest, it doesn't necessarily correspond to a particular likelihood of development. Now, if the tropical disturbance is expected to strengthen and poses the threat of bringing tropical storm or hurricane conditions to land within 48 hours, it will then be labeled a potential tropical cyclone. A cyclone being the broad name given to any tropical system. When the National Hurricane Center does identify a PTC, tropical watches and warnings can be issued as well as all NHC advisory and forecast track graphics. From there, you're likely a little more familiar with the terms. A tropical depression is a tropical cyclone that has sustained winds of 30 miles per hour or less. A system becomes a tropical storm when wind speeds increase above 38 miles per hour, and at this point, it would be given a name. A storm then becomes a hurricane when wind speeds increase to 74 miles per hour. From there, the Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale takes us through the different categories of a hurricane from one through five, with a category three and above being considered a major hurricane. In Columbia, Danielle Miller, News 19, WLTX.